Okay, so to build your beetle trap, you need a shovel, you need some cardboard, you need some tape, and you need a margarine or yogurt sized container. So you don't have to follow my exact measurements, depending on how much cardboard you had, but I did 10 inches by 10 inches for the top. And then the sides is 24 inches by 2 inches. Now after you cut your sides, you want to cut one from the bottom up and the other from the bottom down because these will join, come together to make an X. So this is the bottom of your trap, and this will be lying on the ground. Um, and this will be the top, and this attracts beetles towards your trap because it's nice and dark, and beetles like to be sheltered. So underneath here will be your yogurt container, and what the beetles will do is they'll get trapped along here, and then they'll slowly inch along until they fall into the hole. To make sure this stays on, you can use the tape to tape the bottom part to the top part. All right, after you've dug your hole, you put in your container, and there's going to be a bit of space between your container and the outside. You want to make sure you close that up, otherwise the beetle will fall in between. So just make sure you pack in the earth around it, so that the beetle will fall from the earth directly into the container. And it's easier to see the beetles if you take the earth out and set these up for an hour at a time before checking because you don't want the beetles in here too long and the beetles might also be in the trap with other insects and that's not fair to those insects because the beetle might eat them. That's not fair because it's not natural. So after the hour, take out your trap and see what you've caught. Once you have taped your, the bottom to the top, then you can turn it over and put it over top of the container. Now this is also an important part because you want to make sure that the bottom part is flush with the ground, with the soil. So you want to build up the soil around it so that the beetles won't go underneath one of the sides to the other. Once your beetle trap is set up, it should look something like this. So this is what I caught in the trap. You can see a beetle at the top there. Um, I also caught some ants and a few spiders. Um, now one thing that you might catch is a larger beetle called a sidewalk carabid. And these are kind of cool. Um, these are one of our bigger beetles introduced from Europe. Um, but they're good for our gardens because they eat other insects that will eat our plants. Uh, now I haven't caught one of those, but you might, and those are easier to identify because um, they're pretty well known. So see what you can find. Last thing, make sure you empty out your, the insects exactly where you found them. Fill in the hole first, then empty them out in that location so they're not too disorientated. Happy beetle searching.